Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA released an SBC yesterday that is taking over FC24. It's cheap, and it's making a lot of other cards, including some Team of the Seasons, absolutely tank in price. But is he actually worth it? Is he that good to make a card like Lewandowski go down 250k? We want to discuss that today and talk about that SBC from yesterday, as well as what yesterday showed us about the guaranteed La Liga Team of the Season pack. Are we getting another one today, or is EA going to mix it up a little bit? I want to talk that today, and also watch the market for La Liga Tots cards, as some of them have even started going up already. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's go to yesterday's content and actually talk about our Tuesday guaranteed SBC, guys, right? We get two days every single week of guaranteed TOTS packs. We get one on Tuesday, which is usually encompassing of all the team of the seasons that have been released so far, and we get one on Wednesday today, right? This was the SBC that we had today, the weekly TOTS player pick. Guys, they went straight from a pack. Last week, it was the 90-plus TOTS pack to an player pick which there is no rating minimum on this but guys a player pick one of three everybody's down for that that is a big upgrade right we were all for that 84 and 87 rated squads with one team of the season or team of the week required honestly a w i mean 88,000 coins for a chance at packing somebody from the beginning of team of the season which again those live tots cards now are actually more fun to pack in my opinion because they're upgraded. They've got higher ratings. You pack Modric, he's 96. You pack Loftus-Cheek, he's been upgraded. You're lucky enough to pack somebody else, you know, from that team that's got an upgrade. You're happy because it's higher rated and even more meta than it was before. These are always worth doing, guys, because, yeah, it's 80k, but you know what it is. It's free, right? With the craft that is on this game right now, it is a must-do SBC. And actually... There was definitely people doing this one yesterday because 84s, we were wondering if they were actually going to go up or not. 1.4 thousand coins, so they did come off of their minimum price range. As you can tell yesterday, all these cards did jump up. Some of them were even 1.5k. They could go a little higher today with another guaranteed TOTS pack, but uh, they actually did move. So GG's if you invested there, but most of the rest of the fodder market is really just chilling. It was the 84s that moved even a little bit for that SBC yesterday, the weekly TOTS player pick. Now, again, also, it was very interesting yesterday in objectives if you finished the daily login, right? A lot of us, right, log into this game every single day at content and you do the one SBC, you put in a bronze player, you get the pack, right? And yesterday, a lot of us got the La Liga Tots Guaranteed Pack, which you would think would be the same SBC pack that we would be getting today. Now, we opened a lot of those Tots player picks and those La Liga Guaranteeds on the second channel if you want to check out a video of those just to see what the pack weight is like. But what that did yesterday was it gave us kind of some insight onto what maybe this SBC will be, you know, giving us today we've already had a free tots pack for la liga right remember they gave us one including la liga and liga f on friday and then yesterday we had one from objectives if we get another one today from sbc's that's honestly kind of crazy and it was nice to have that little bit of a look in as to what the pack weight may be like today like if you're somebody who doesn't have a lot of coins you don't have a lot of fodder you don't want to grind it is the la liga tots pack going to be worth doing to be honest yesterday we saw a couple of kamavingas i think yesterday as well we packed um, a lewandowski but of course you had a plentiful amount of the alex garcia the miguel but just with the way that pack weight has been this week it's probably still going to be worth a punt depending on the price right and we'll talk more about that sbc later today but i, I did want to mention that kamavinga was somebody that we saw semi-often as a tots moments card they seem to have a little bit higher pack weight and only 360k that was actually a good poll yesterday that happened to a couple of people from the objective version of that La Liga Tots pack. So that was like a second part of content yesterday that came out. But the biggest part of content was the SBC man himself, Sorloth. Now, there was a lot of hype building up to this SBC. We talked about it yesterday because it was leaked, and we finally got the card yesterday. And you look at the stats on this card, and you're like, hmm... Is he actually that good? He's got Aerial Plus, Trivella, and Relentless Plus for a striker, which most people be like, why does that matter? Well, it probably does help him out in the end game. He's got 99 stamina. Does he even need the Relentless Plus? Probably helps him out to play a full 90 minutes in the way that you want to use him. So it's nice. I wish that he didn't have Relentless Plus. I wish that he had Relentless Regular and maybe like Power Shot Plus or Rapid Plus, right? Or maybe even Power Header Plus. But this is the SBC that's taken this game by storm right now, guys, because Sorloth has hype. Some of you guys maybe don't even know about Sorloth or why he has hype. It all started last year in FIBA 23. 
when he had an inform and when EA introduced the lengthy meta. That's when Sorloth came to his fame inside of FC FIFA last year, FC this year, right? And there's one word that describes this card this year, right? It's still that hype. A lot of people have been using Sorloth's earlier version of this foot birthday card, especially in the La Liga Cup, right? That we all have been doing on Thursdays, right? To get those games done, to get those objectives and that XP. So many people were using this Sorloth card earlier in the year. I heard that even pros were using this card. And you can see his price, right? He went from 23K before La Liga Tots all the way up to 32,000 coins. Now he's dropped off a lot since less and less people are playing the cup. He's back down to 18K, especially with his SBC yesterday. But this is the type of card that people are saying is so overpowered in game because as of late, People are saying that these big bodied strikers are very, very meta. And of course, this Sorloth card just kind of has one thing that a lot of people talk about in this game right now as well, and that is aura, right? A lot of people say that just he just has the aura of somebody who is very good in the game and he just kind of plays beyond what his stats and what his abilities may say, kind of like somebody like the Golazo Drogba card. Now, I'm somebody who has Golazo Drogba and I've packed him untradeable and this is a card that is taking a direct hit in price it, I mean, it's crazy to even say this right this drogba card was 800,000 coins just a couple of days ago and now that the 70,000 coins sorloth sbc has been released drogba is 600k look at this price drop off guys yesterday at content 760k boom straight down to 600,000 coins because people are selling this drogba to go do this sorloth sbc and use this card now again his stats look very decent for this type of player if you're somebody who wants a big build striker to be able to score headers to be able to loft the ball up in the air win those headers to head the ball onto another teammate some build up play right um not really build up play i guess that's kind of like I don't know, like number number nine play, I guess, not really passing, but just like getting up in the air and being able to kind of create for teammates aerially. This is a card that a lot of people are using that for. Now, I've used Drogba, and he is just OP. He is just kind of OP beyond his own card. Like, it's weird. Like, he has just some sort of crazy jam about him, and that's why this card has just gradually risen up out of packs during the Galazzo promo, even during team of the season. This card only has two playstyle pluses. His card price keeps going up, but it's a card like him that is 70,000 coins and a lot of hype around the store lot that is making this Drogba drop. And the same thing with like Tots Lewandowski, right? You look at this card. Remember when I sold him for 900, or sorry, not even 900, 2.1 million coins on Friday, sold him for 1.4 on Sunday. He dropped from a million coins, almost 1.1 yesterday to 800K. This Lewandowski card. Now, I have to imagine that this Lewandowski in-game, which I do have him, is better than the Sorloth. But if you're going to play in a certain way that really kind of makes this Sorloth card the most overpowered and the most meta, I guess you could make a reason for why he might be more hyped than Lewandowski. But I do think that for a 70,000 coin SBC card, some of these striker price drops like the Lewandowski and the Drogba are a little bit too much, guys. I think there's a lot of hype here about Sorloth and about the aura that this card has, and I just don't know if it's going to last because he's a 70,000 coin SBC player. When was the last time that a 70,000 coin player made this much hype and was actually this good and stayed in people's teams for this long? I know Sorloth could be different, but I'm really looking at this card and I'm saying it's going to be somebody who people maybe use, but not everybody likes to use that. Not everybody's trying to cross the ball and not everybody's trying to use a big body striker like this that literally can't left stick dribble. They want to use somebody like Diani or, you know, Julian Alvarez, who's been released recently, who's got that quick left stick dribbling. And that's just the way that they play. So I would have to say that I think the Lewandowski and the Drogba, I actually picked up a Lewandowski for 800,000 coins flat. Uh, because I thought that was kind of too cheap of a price for a card that was a million coins. The La Liga Tots pack is coming today. I was like, you know what? I think he can go up. So that's why I picked one up. Now, to this card, I have not done uh, Sorloth yet. And I don't want to talk about it forever today, but it just depends on how you play. If this card is really going to be good for you, I'm going to try them out. I want to see what the hype is all about. And the fact that some of these cards have dropped down so much, like there's a lot of hype. Boniface went from 170 yesterday to 100,000 coins. So I want to try this card, but do I think he's going to be a mainstay in my team over Drogba or over Lewandowski? Probably not. I think it's a lot of hype right now. I think the hype is going to drop off and this card probably won't be used by as many people 
in a couple days from now. That's one of the things I wanted to point out today, but it is a nice SBC to have for the stat boost and just for something to get us a little excited and the fact that it's free. If you want to go and try them out, 70k is basically free with the craft and grind, with the premiums, and with the player picks. So I have no complaints about that SBC. It is a W, but I did want to talk about it at length today because it's making a lot of strikers drop and uh, there's a lot of hype around that Storloth card. So get him done if you want. And then let me know in the comments what you actually think of his card because there's going to be mixed opinions on a card like that. Some people are going to say, dude, he's a truck. He can't turn. And then others are going to see it say, he's so OP. He's so good. It really just depends on how you play the game and what you value in a type of striker in your formation and all that. So that's kind of that one. But again, he's very craftable. And that's what yesterday was. Another day of the craft. I actually need to hurry up and get some more of these TOTS crafting SBC done because I've got 38 to go and I really would like to get them done during La Liga because of how good this pack weight has been. The TOTS counter is only up to 142 so we didn't hit a lot of blues yesterday. The luck was a little dry for me but I finally hit my first blue in a premium guys. I've probably opened like 30 plus of these only hit one blue and I hit my fifth blue from the TOTS crafting upgrade maybe sixth I've lost count um, but there were just kind of fodder cards. Um, I need to hit my player picks and the 86 doubles. Again, those are coming back today. They refresh every single day. So the grind and the craft is still good. Again, I'm getting tweeted from so many of you guys that you're still packing insane cards. So I know it's possible and I know that they are out there. So keep crafting. If you're somebody who's been struggling and the pack luck has not been helping you out um, recently and you just haven't hit anything big yet, keep going because all it takes is one. All it takes is one, guys. Now, let's just fast forward straight into today on Wednesday. What are we expecting today on this game? Well, of course, you guys know it's League Upgrade Day for the Guaranteed Tots cards, the main league, right? Last week, we had League One, and it was terrible. It was absolutely really, really terrible. I'm wondering if EA this week, though, make the SBC a little bit different. Since we had the La Liga Guaranteed Pack yesterday from Objectives, are they going to give us the same pack that they dropped on Friday for free to everybody? Because there's two potential packs we could get today. Just La Liga guaranteed. We could also get a La Liga slash Liga F guaranteed pack. That's the free one they put out on Friday. And with all the insane cards in Liga F, I wouldn't be mad if they did that, right? Give us a chance at packing these cards again from a guaranteed pack. Puteus, Bonmati, Hansen, Athenia, and of course Salma P. For a lot of you guys would be good polls. That's one thing I do want to point out that could be different about today than the past couple of weeks on Wednesdays is it might not just be the men's league. It might be the men's and women's. I don't think there's two separate SBCs for a Liga F and a La Liga only guaranteed. I think it's going to be La Liga or it's going to be that mixed pack. So watch out for that today. Um, and again, if you're going to try to invest in this or like prepare for it, is there really anything you can buy? Honestly, I don't think I would. I would just say get the crafting stuff done. Get your uh, fodder up in the club. This is probably going to be a day where fodder moves a little bit. 84s, 5s, 6s, 7s, and maybe 88s. Um, I don't think the SBC is going to be that expensive. Like the League 1 TOTS upgrade last week was, I think, the cheapest one that we had yet. It was 60k, but it was absolutely terrible. I wouldn't be mad if a La Liga TOTS upgrade, if it's La Liga and Liga F, is like 100,000 coins because it's still very easy to craft with the fodder. And... Maybe it means we have a little bit better of a pack weight. But if you're invested in fodder at all, I know some of you guys might be, today is going to be the best sell day. Wednesdays before Division Rivals Rewards have been the best days to sell your 84s to 88 rated cards on this market for sure. That's just one thing I wanted to mention. Also, if you have Team of the Weeks today, I'd be very careful. I think Team of the Weeks went up yesterday a little bit because of the guaranteed SBC that came out, but they're back down. 18K is that what I'm seeing? Guys, the tradable Team of the Week pack refreshes again today, that 81 plus. So these cards are going to get supplied some more. I would imagine that they drop. Maybe we see informs in like, I don't know, 14, 15,000 coins since Team of the Seasons are so plentiful. Those are definitely going to drop. So that is something I want to mention um today as well and then of course there's a lot of hype for whatever guaranteed tots pack is going to be today whether it includes liga f or whether it doesn't we're watching these team of the season cards because you know today is a day where a lot of people are going to start buying and these la liga cards they're hyped right remember how good premier league tots cards did as they went out of packs and as everybody was doing the guaranteed sbcs they did incredible, which is why I'm closely watching a lot of these cards today from La Liga Tots because I think there might be a chance that they rise, right? Think about it. Everybody's been crafting the menus. 
grinding the upgrade packs in this game for the past what two three four days since the upgrades have been out it may be some people are getting to the point where they've opened all the packs they haven't got the card that they wanted but they still have the coins available so they're like you know what today's my day i got one more last tots guaranteed pack to try to hit and if i don't pack who i want to pack i'm just going to go out and buy the player that i want to buy for my team especially with how hyped this team of the season league is all the links to the player SBCs that people are doing. I think that was one of the reasons why Premier League Tots did so good out of packs was because the player SBCs were great and people needed links to go and build teams. And I think that's going to be the same way with this team. So if you want to buy a lot of League of Tots player for your team, I think there will be some of them that will go up today, even in the morning time, but even more so after content because this league of players is really hyped and some of them are pretty rare my personal favorites here are ones that haven't been impacted by sbcs right we had a center back sbc for kunde and ramos may be the only center back that i'm kind of interested in just because it's ramos and his cards earlier this year did really really well out of packs that would be a card i would invest in potentially if you get the right price rudiger and araujo though maybe we stay away from because of course the kunde cancelo you know you have his card seems really really cheap and cancelo was always hyped but we have the uh onabatia sbc so you know some of these cards i think you might stay away from because of the player sbcs that we have had like again Lewandowski and rodrigo they're down because of sorloth yesterday i picked up a Lewandowski because i thought it was too cheap but i like other players like isco and maybe Kamavinga and Griezmann, you know, these really high tier guys like Bellingham, Vinny, Valverde and Griezmann. There's just such a good chance that they're going to be re-released in ultimate team of the season. So I don't love that for a lot of those cards. But if you buy something today, make sure it is rare and make sure it is a card that has a lot of hype. That's why I was trying to pick up Isco for under 320K. He might go lower today. He also might go back up to like 350. He was 350 at one point yesterday. And this guy just seems to have a ton of hype, bro. He seems to have so much hype. So unless an SBC player comes that kind of replaces him as a center attack in mid, not everybody is able to get Fakir and get that card for 13 wins in foot champs. So I think that that Isco is going to have a little bit of hype, especially with the Sorloth. I know they're not a direct link, but people want to link those La Liga cards together because they've been so easy to pack this week. I think a lot of you guys, if you look at your club right now, you look at your squad, how many of you have multiple or at least one or two La Liga team of the seasons, whether it's an SBC player or somebody that you've packed, I really think La Liga Tots has changed some people's squads. So that is one thing I want to mention. I think that it will continue to change some squads with the pack weight more people are going to be buying cards, and I think we could see some La Liga Tots cards rising soon. So it's a lot of talk about that there. Now, SBC, player SBCs today, um, you know, guys, we don't have any other specific leaks. I know there's been hints at other leaks, but nothing concrete as of yet. Watch Twitter today, see if we have any of those. But there is a couple shouts maybe for a showdown, right? We've been having showdowns, and I think it was even last Wednesday where we had this showdown for Leverkusen and Atalanta, which the game, by the way, is today. If you want to get this done, the Europa League final is today, guys. So upgrade for Hoffman on the line if that interests you. Um, and then we had Paredes, of course, and Merozen still. Maybe they drop an FA Cup showdown. Um, there's also a lot of other cup finals happening this weekend for the other uh, nations out there, other leagues. Um, so that's something to watch out for. There could be more showdowns. And of course, um, we could be looking out for another Evo. We still have another La Liga Tots Evo that has been leaked. We have no news about that, but we're hoping to see another Evo dropped here soon. Uh, Evos have just been so dead recently. Like, it's just been so quiet. They need to step that up a little bit. The other thing is, um, we do have SBC refreshes today. The 81 plus team leak, as we mentioned, and then the usual SBCs are refreshing every day, like the 86 double and stuff like that. But I do believe the 82 times five refreshes today on Wednesday. So I'm not expecting that big of a day, to be completely honest. That's why I'm watching the market a bit more. As you can tell here, I did buy some East Coast. And I did buy one Lewandowski. So I don't want to put too many coins into it because the crafting grind for me is still the best thing that this game offers right now. Um, I'm trying to finish out my champs grind. We're getting very, very close to hopefully 11 wins. We'll see if we can go a little bit beyond that. I think we are currently, this is like a last minute check-in, a couple hours before champs goes away or 10 and 5. So it's going to be close. It's going to be very close to see if we get 13 wins. 11 is fine by me, but we'll try to get it done here really fast to see if we get to 13. Um, yeah, guys, honestly, I think that's the video for today. Keep crafting, keep grinding. Ooh, just a second. That is not all that we have in store for the video because we have ourselves 
two leaks for Serie A team in the season, but they're kind of like last week where we had Valverde and Vinny and um, who else? Like so Jude, Jude Bellingham were leaked really early, right? We've got Rafael Leao, duh, right? He was always going to be in team of the season for Serie A. He is in. It is confirmed. Stats are a prediction, of course, but he is in the team as well as Paulo Dybala. So maybe a couple more leaks coming today, but these seem kind of like the obvious players hopefully ea juice Syria tots and make it halfway decent because it really is probably going to feel like a waiting week between Syria and then getting to ultimate team of the season but we will just have to see what ea do with that so guys good luck with your lot of guaranteed today i won't be streaming unfortunately because we have a lot of stuff irl going on um, we've been talking about that for the past couple of days in the stream but i will see you guys for a youtube video tomorrow and uh yeah i'll do my lot of guaranteed and post it on twitter and see who we can get best of luck with your craft and good luck with your weekend league rewards if you're opening those today as well. I appreciate all the love and support on this channel, guys. If you want to watch some more TFA, check out the second channel. And if you enjoy this video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. Peace out.